Makers, my name is Jack Daly and in this video we are going to be talking about how to install and download Arduino onto your system. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your browser of choice and type in Arduino and then click enter. And this will bring us to, when we click on this link here, Arduino Home, to the Arduino website. What you want to then do is click on software, click downloads and then you'll be brought to the download page so you can see we have many different options if you're using Mac then obviously you want to click on this one Linux based users you will want to select your correct um, uh, installer here but for the, the Windows people out there we want to click on this one here the top one the installer for Windows 7 so go ahead and click on that click just download and that's if you want to contribute to Arduino because they're all open source. And you can see down here we've got the Arduino 1.8.13 Windows EXE. Now, you know, depending on what um, time you're watching this will depend on what generation this is. So once that's finished installing, simply click on it and you'll see it's finished because the icon is there. So click on it and that will be opening Arduino. You can see you can't really see it, but you have to uh, allow it. So click yes. And I'll bring this over here. So now we just need to agree to some of the terms and conditions. So click I agree. Make sure all of these are checked. Click next. Um, do not change the destination file. Click install. And you can see that is extracting the builder and that is installing the Arduino software for you. So for some of you wondering, there's the Windows zip file for non-admin installs option. That allows you to get a folder, and what you do, you can open that, and you can see you've got Arduino here, and you can actually run it by double-clicking on this application. But for those of you who are fine with installing the app, you can go ahead, and you can see our install is complete. So now click close, and you'll see that if you type in Arduino, so recently added, you can see Arduino's there, but if you also just type in Arduino, so now that Arduino is open, you'll be presented with a new sketch. So we can go ahead and make this full screen. And this is the Arduino IDE. Go over to the Learn section on 8BitCade. Each console has its own setup guide where you can go ahead to the tools and you can adjust these settings here according to your console. So you guys need to go ahead to the Learn section, click on the console, and click on the setup guide. And go ahead and do that now. So if you head on over to the 8BitCade Learn section, you can see we have the foundation tutorials and then we have the individual consoles. So for example, if you're coding the 8BitCade, you would click on Learn to Code the 8BitCade here. If you're doing the Excel, then you'd click on this option. And you can see you're presented with its own page. Now every console will have this set section here, the setup. So what you need to do is, is you need to click on download here and that will bring you to a PDF document file that shows you how to set up Arduino with the correct settings for your console. So if I head on back over to the Excel one to show you how it's presented on the Excel, what this document shows you is the microprocessor setup, the screen setup, because obviously each individual console has different specs. For example, the Excel is obviously extra large and has the larger screen. So if we go download here, we can see if we scroll down, you can see the settings. It shows you how to install a library and it shows you how to select the correct settings. So once we go on our Arduino, we can adjust this accordingly. So hopefully you've done the setup tutorial. Now, for example, for those of you with the 8-bit Cade, you'll see these settings should look familiar. So hopefully, now that you've done the setup, you'll be ready to upload sketches and you'll be ready to move on to the next tutorials. So, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been 8BitCade. I'm Jack Daly and thank you for watching. Keep making.